Hello there, it's me Sibin from Limbromi. In this video, I'm going to show you a chatbot which we built for our customer. After watching this video, you will come to know how you can build a very advanced chatbot and make use of Libromi's full potential. So this chatbot is created to generate insurance quotation based on the user input. While I'm showing how the chatbot works, I will show how I created this chatbot. So let's trigger this chatbot with the short code I created. Hashtag get code. Okay, so this will start with the start module and then it will send this group one message. So you can see looking for the best calculations. Let's find it in two minutes available in UA residence only. Do you have any pre-existing medical conditions? So that is this quick reply message. So if I select yes, it will send another message. They are not offering any service to customers with pre-existing conditions. So if I click no, let's see it will navigate to the next module and it will send the flows, which is the latest native WhatsApp flow. So let's see if I click here, it will open a pop up right within WhatsApp. You probably haven't seen this feature. It is kind of bizarre within WhatsApp. Now I can enter my full name and the next my email ID and the next one is my phone number. Next time clicking continue. So you can see within the same pop up, it is navigated to the second tab. So it is asking my date of birth. You can see it's, it's all happening within WhatsApp. I'm choosing a date of birth and then gender is male so all kind of form inputs are available here you can actually build this kind of forms within Libromi. i'm actually married the next one will be visa type so that is an investor the next will be the emirate right now they are only offering service within abu dhabi i'm selecting abu dhabi i'm continuing so next one is the features so clinics only or clinics and hospital access if i select clinics and hospital access this will create codes with the plans offering clinics and hospital access so if i select submit this will be submitted so just after the native flow module it is just confirming the provided data again back to the user so here all the provided data saved as a variable and sending back to the user using the quick reply module okay so you can see my name, uh, email, phone number, all the provided data is appeared here. And now if I change again, it will actually send it back to this module. But right now I'm actually confirming it and let's see what will happen next. So when I use it confirm this, you can see it is connected to a API module. Okay, so if I click here, I will show you that it is sending to a third party server. I have created a separate backend to generate the code based on the provided data. So you can see the body. So all the provided data is transferred to this third party server as a POST request with this payload. Okay, there are some uh, headers with security and everything. And after processing the data on this server, it will send back some data as a response. So that response will be saved as a variable again. So the data dot message, the, the code ID, some codes, there are other details will be saved as variables and then those data will be used again in this messages now you can see it has already generated codes for three different plans one is next care rn with the price of 82767 next is mednet green next is nas srn okay so if i select the benefit details this will respond with a generated code in pdf format which is also generated in this microservice and it is already saved as a variable here so now you can see it is automatically generated three quotations real time with the data i provided here you see so with a nice letterhead and a watermarked logo with all the terms and conditions with all the table of benefit it has generated the code for three different companies it is offering an app like experience in a conversational way within whatsapp so there is no doubt that user won't get a better experience than whatsapp from anywhere else. so this is a big deal for sure so here again you can see if i click on the benefits details it is generating the codes and then it has shared the codes all the three codes have received and after 10 seconds it is prompting me to select a policy so you can see next scale mednet or nas srn so this is using a dynamic quick replay you can see the difference here this is a dynamic quick replay and this is a static one with this on the static one you can, we can predefine the values but on the dynamic one the values here you on the button which you can see are dynamic okay thus that is a very powerful module so you can fetch the data from the server and you can use those values as a dynamic module so if i choose next scan rn for example that will be saved in a variable and then it will ask to upload my Emirates ID here. And the URL will be available for the user on the conversation panel here. Okay. And next, uh, you can see it is asking to upload the visa page and the next pages. 
and the other documents similarly you can collect any documents and in the later stage you can actually push all this collected information to a third party server using this rest api module again if you want it and the next thing is if you want to collect payment here after accepting all this document you can use this payment link module and collect the payment now Librami is already integrated with the popular gateways such as stripe resource pains temajo paypal phone p and tap if you want to integrate a custom gateway Librami is offering support to do the custom integration as well and now i will explain you how i created that form that opened within whatsapp that is called whatsapp native flows it's a very new feature uh, only Librami is offering such a feature right now here within Librami's panel so you can build similar whatsapp native form using this no code tool here you can see the health insurance symbol which is already created and published if i edit it now you can see uh, since it's already published i can't make any modification but still i will show you how i created this one okay you can see a preview here the first one will be a text subheading with the please provide the below details okay next one is the text input uh, with a full name and you can actually give a help text uh, it can be a text or it can be a password email number or passcode or phone similarly for email id it is actually email id so the input will be validated and you can actually uh, mark it as required or optional the next one will be the phone so you can see the type is phone so that the user can only input phone number here the next is the button so here it is going to the next screen so the next screen is also created here profile with the date picker so you can see it's a date of birth uh, you can provide a help text you wanted the next one is a drop down with the options available you can add more options right now it cannot be edited but still when you're creating a new one you can add more options similarly the status and uh, emirates and the buttons there are more tools available here like you can see the option here when you create a flow there is option here with on add content click on this here and text heading the new module will be added here and then you can edit the data similarly for the text and so the text input is available text area date picker uh, similarly the date button group the checkbox group the drop down and opt-in all the options are available here and you can actually drag and drop and change the orders between those uh, change the orders of this pages and uh, you know create multiple pages and um, built a very advanced flow so if it is a lengthy chatbot you can actually minimize plenty of steps within this flow and use this native flow within the chatbot builder also this flow is very useful for prompting the user to provide only the valid data so that's how you create a form and then you can use this flow module to use this created flow within the chatbot see you can see all the created flow here after syncing the flow you can see which old data will be available to save as variables here so that's how it worked. Now, if you have any doubts, feel free to comment on this video. We'll be posting plenty of amazing use cases. So make sure you have subscribed to this channel. Thank you.